Hello and welcome back to the 2020 Chicago Regional, first regional of the set. And uh, we're finally here, boys. We're finally at top four. Been a long, uh, long ride here, but we're uh, just uh, looking over the deck lists over here. We're going to get you guys into um, top four in just a couple minutes here. Uh, how did you... Did you watch any of the games of the top eight? Uh, I watched a little bit. I was over kind of looking at the uh, the other players that weren't on stream. Okay, yeah. Um, I know there was a really good hatchjack match that I was watching yeah, that uh, Peter Peter was playing. Yeah. yeah, that was a pretty good one. Unfortunately, I think he got knocked out. He right? did, yeah. yeah. Peter got knocked out. He got top eight with hatchjack guys, but he couldn't uh, squeeze out that last win. I believe he was – what was he playing against? Uh, I think it was Serge Ku. Yes, I, I don't remember. All I know is he lost to Fu, I believe, both Serge. games. Sounds the like the 10-drop Fu, yeah. Sounds like Serge Ku. So. But yeah, so uh, Joey and uh, Colin Kayser and Joey Palladino. Um, we've got them on stream here. Um, I believe Joey, Joey was on stream like about an hour ago, yep. an half ago. Top 16. Uh, he was in top 16. We streamed him, and now we are doing um, his top four game with Colin. Um, the other matchup is Raya, uh, Robbie Reitz and Johnny Toll. They are the other guys in top four playing it out um, off camera, obviously. So uh, I believe Joey is playing. Um, what's it called? It doesn't look like he's playing Jumbo. No, he's uh, playing the Surge Coup. Oh, yeah, no. they're both playing Surge Coup. Surge Coup, Surge Coup. But uh, Joey is, is just red yellow, and Colin is playing blue red yellow, I believe. Mm. Okay, so we're going to get to see who's the superior build. What's the superior build in the mirror match? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a tricolor versus just a dual color. Just so dual we'll color, see yeah. if adding the uh, little bit more consistency kind of wins out or if having the actual utility of the yellow cards in there really make – or uh, the blue cards in there really makes a difference. Yeah, I think it, I think it will. Like, um, I'm not sure what is actually more – I feel like you'll be able to push better with the red. Mm -hmm. Or, sorry, with the, uh, with the blue. Mm-hmm. But uh, I don't know. I think like we have to see it in action just because I'm not sure what, what they'll play. It's It might be a game of who can arrival more Beerus's, to be honest. Mm -hmm. because we'll have to see. Once we get the list, it'll be a little easier to check. Yeah. But uh, the uh, adding blue adds uh, Senzu Bean is a big card, so you can like extend a little easier. Yeah, absolutely. But, uh, yeah, you sometimes you get a little less consistency because you have the extra color in there. Also, yeah. that also that means that probably TN's going to come in for Joey game two to kind of fight that untap mechanic stuff. It does, but at the same time, like, um, what's it called? What was I going to say here? I completely brain farted on that one. <laughs> Oof, wow, that was rough. Yeah, um, but uh, the blue the blue is good and all, and I, th but I feel like um, it opens up pretty good, like a lot of good cards. Like I said, Sense of Bean, but like, the one mm -hmm. I'm looking out for is probably like Combination Attack. Yeah. You, you could sneak a lot of like big plays out with Combination Attack. Um, if he plays a Beerus and goes for a game with that or does anything in that case. Um, combination Attack is such a good underrated card to just like rip somebody with. We'll, mm -hmm. get, to, we'll get the deck list soon and be able to see if he actually plays it. Yeah, I know but he's uh, playing Frost Deadly Poison, so that'll be another thing that Joey will really have to worry out, work yeah. out for. Yeah, it's, it's another huge card as well. Like Blue mm -hmm. blue just opens up so many good um, so many good options, but at the same time, it can get kind of clunky. Mm -hmm. And we just got the deck lists here. So Colin is the blue player. I'll take a look here and see if he's in fact playing those cards. He's playing two Champa's main deck, which is interesting. Divine card. The uh, furthering destruction Champa. Yep. Or sorry, the double sorry. strike one. Yes, the furthering destruction Champa. He's playing the secret herb Janemba. Wow, he's playing three frost deadly poison. That's a lot. That's and happening. combination attack. What do you think well. he's scared of? This that's I mean Frost Deadly Poison is the only card that stops ten drop foo. It so is. that could be the the thing he's citing it in there for. Yeah. Fru Shrouded in Mystery. He does main deck one Fru Shrouded in Mystery, mm -hmm. just because that's the best. So that's that's one difference, shrouded. whereas uh, Joey is main decking the Mirror Creator Absorbed. So he sides one combination attack and mains zero. Okay. So it might not even be a factor, because at one, you just might not see it. In our last game, um, uh, I just commentated with Fresco, he, mm -hmm. the, the, um, was the Genema player had two commies in main deck and saw zero. Both games. Oh, ouch. So it was interesting. Like, they weren't even in, they didn't get milled, they didn't have, they weren't in life, they were just still at the bottom of his deck, and mm -hmm. he had maybe like 15 cards left in deck, both games. So sometimes you can just get sacked in that sense. Mm -hmm. He has one Ultra Instinct, the Unstoppable. Um, at one again, like these one ofs, unless you have like a toolkit to bring them out. There are a lot of one ofs in the deck. He's playing one of, uh, let's see, what's, what's Master it? Roshi, Martial Expert, one of Mira, Creator Absorb, one of. He's playing the Seeker Rare, which, uh, yeah. Joey's not main decking. Yeah. 
Uh, the, what, uh, what is Joey's secret? Does he run one? Yeah, he's running the same one, the Krep Coalescence, but he's got it in the Saturday. side. Yeah. I think that that's a pretty big big make or break, uh, make or break secret. If if uh, Colin doesn't show the uh, the Frost Deadly Poison in game one, and then Joey decides to side in the baby in game two mm. and falls uh, into that trap, he might be in a lot of danger. That's true. I'm not sure. Does th that one doesn't have deflect, I don't think, correct? No, it does not. Okay. It can just get hit. Yeah, straight up. They can get yeah, it. so we'll see. I, th I think that those Frost Deadly Poisons are really going to be the make or break point for this match, to be honest. That's uh, that seems like it's going to be a key card. Let's see, dimensional banisher. He does have Joey does have the dimensional banisher foos in there, which will help him out a little bit. It gives him a little bit of extra removal. Yeah, and those, a little bit extra double yeah. strike too. Uh, those foos have been good since like set one. No man, like, mm -hmm. oh, since they sorry set one since they came out. Like mm -hmm. just being able to clear something on board and it's not KO'd, it's warp. Mm -hmm. Plus the double strike attack is huge. Um, although I don't know that. Uh, Colin has much that he wants to clear out besides the Grade A, uh, the Raiders Warcry, mm -hmm. Bardock. Like that's probably the only target. Maybe mm -hmm. it's a good. Maybe if he survives the Gemma turn, he can warp it away. So removal definitely important. One for like one man as well. S cost is like insane. Mm -hmm. So we'll s we'll see. He made okay. So he Grade A Son Goku Saiyan Instinct. Grade A Son Goku Saiyan Instincts. What card is that? Uh, is that really a rival? I'm not actually sure offhand. So grade A Son Goku. Sounds familiar. Oh, there. oh, it's the draw two. Okay, we're bad. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you never play that card. So you never actually say the name. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> fair. Uh, remove monkey. That's what you say. Yep, yep, yep. Remove monkey. No, that card is definitely very, very strong. So it's going to be that classic mid-range draw, draw, draw mm -hmm. until you're dead kind of yeah. kind of deck. Yep. Every every um, what's it called? Every card in his deck will re uh, reestablish like uh, refresh his resources. So most mm -hmm. of the things that he plays will allow him to draw a card. Um, and then for the th cards that don't allow him to draw a card, he makes up for it by having the monkey engrave mm. to replenish his hand once again. I think there'll be a little interest, too. I didn't even realize this, though, when we had him on earlier, but Joey is playing four of the body change Genyu in his main deck. Jesus. So that, that'll that be interesting to see it's if he can coming. utilize those, yeah, in this matchup. I'm just trying to think, like, what could it... I mean, oh yeah, It so takes apes, basically. It I takes mean, apes, yeah. so it's good in the mirror match. And then it also takes... Um, it also, if you're if you're playing against Piccolo, the Piccolo like uh, mm -hmm. matchup, the four drop Piccolo, you can negate his barrier and just take it. Yep, yep. It was uh, almost almost got done last game. Um, yeah, like I actually, ago. I talked to him about that. And I asked him why he didn't do it, and apparently it was the only red card in his hand to awaken his leader yeah, yeah, surge. Yeah. So that's rough. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you don't go for the flashy play, believe mm -hmm. it or not. Yeah, yeah. Winning sometimes is more important. <laughs> There's the one of combination attack charged. In okay, so he won't have to worry about that at all this game. That's turned off now yeah. forever. <laughs> Colin, um, well, it's interesting because I don't see any in his main deck. Hmm, it's on there. Oh, that's his main deck. Yeah, yep, I'm, yep. I'm just one. And then he doesn't side anymore. Any 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 other. So there's no option of him siding anymore. I think the threat of having it there charged. No, because he read he read the deck list. No, there's yeah. no there's no threat. He charged and now he knows that combination attack is dead. Mm -hmm. So he can comfortably all in in those scenarios now. Oh, very <laughs> interesting. He's discarding uh, a poison already. I think a big part of why it's uh. It's okay to play three of them in the deck. Is that That's if you, true. If you open and clog with them early, mm. you can just be like, bye-bye. Yep. Discard them. Got a, you have to aggro early, especially against Surge Q. Mm. He's potentially putting him to five right now, so his surge ability is actually already up and ready to go. Yeah, that's true. But uh, it's probably a little bit too early for him to awaken 100%. just because, yeah, you need, need that advantage. The huge thing Colin really needs to be careful of is the um, five-drop Vegeta. That's a three-drop. Mm. When you're a red leader, yeah, that nukes the board like minus twenty k's to everything. That is very dangerous right now. If he overextends even just a little bit, plays one monkey when he shouldn't have, the yeah. board goes away. If he doesn't have enough energy open for the frost deadly poison, he is beyond dead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's gonna. It seems like it's probably gonna be a very grindy, long like card for card kind of game, uh, especially in this matchup. Even though it's you know tricolor versus normal, they do a lot of the similar things still. Yep. Absolutely, and he just passes turn. Uh, he has yellow, red up. That's mm -hmm. for Denial of Hope, I assume. He's probably going to play. Um, yeah, he's probably going to swing. Swing again. Denial of Hope or maybe a Topo. That could be a thing, too. Yeah, uh, it's so early to Topo, but it is it is a good play. It buys you that turn, so then next turn you can go into that Vegeta and nuke the board. Mm. Um, so if uh, Colin can, he should probably play as much. Oh, charges a Topo. 
probably play as many cards as he can this turn, just to aggro next turn, so he doesn't have to be forced to play anything before he, then the board gets nuked. Mm -hmm. The fact that he went aggro with the ape right away means he should probably keep pushing a little bit. 100%. He's about to get leader. Yeah, yep, and there's a topo. There's a topo, negate. He's thinking about what he wants to discard. Topo is a generic neg too, but like with these surge leaders, you draw so much, it just it doesn't even matter. Oh, that's another thing. You can frost deadly po poison. That's pretty key is you the topo. Could, you yeah. could frost deadly poison that. Oh, that's a that's a pretty big... Mm -hmm. It'll still negate the attack, but it won't do the discard. Though. Yeah, I don't think he has a swing back to kill him either way. So yeah. I would, I'd probably do it, to be honest. Maybe. You could definitely get some damage in. I'd probably do it. Uh, no, I well, mean, it stops the negate. He, yeah. he doesn't have another attack, but well, like later in the game, it could be a very big play. It's actually pretty big right now because he didn't attack with the leader. He did. He just he just that's made the draw. Oh, that's true. Yep, he didn't get his uh, draw. Uh, that's kind of rough. I would have attacked my leader first, and expecting the topo. Mm -hmm. Could have just been the nerves getting to him here, or he was thinking something else. But uh, yeah, usually when your opponent's playing red, you're gonna want to, because e even if they have the nimbus, it doesn't really matter in this circumstance. You 100%. definitely want to attack with the leader. Yeah, for sure. It's kind of unfortunate that he uh, he got hit like this. This is rough. It would have been nice to be able to uh, draw two off his leader. Mm -hmm. Nice pick. Three, four, probably a monkey. Oh, monkey. Yep, yep. He's so definitely decided he wants to go aggressive this game. 100%. Um, I think it's going to get denial of the suit the second it hits the board. Any response is sir. If he has it, he has it. If he doesn't, he does mm. not have it. Doesn't look like oh, denial. Oh, he, he has the Vegeta. Yeah. He can nuke the board, but his opponent's still going to tap the topo and draw one. Yeah. So the question is, does he do it here or does he wind it up even more? I think he should do it here, to be honest, because yeah, of... that's two monkeys down. Yeah, yeah, and... Yep, there it is. Yeah, because right. otherwise you... You threaten Definitely. him just leaving energy up. Definitely the correct play. He's going to tap the topo and just pass his turn here. Topo, bye bye. Mm -hmm. Draw and say bye to your monkeys. Yep. And the added benefit is he even gets the 5k, so he won't have to combo when the lead on the leader attack at all this turn. Yep. I mean, it, he's probably just going to attack the leader with the leader regardless to draw. Yeah, yeah. No, he doesn't get the 5k now, does he? He doesn't have the 5k anymore. Uh, he gets the 5k for the duration of the turn, I believe, on the Vegeta. When, he, when you play it on your opponent's turn? No, but yeah, but he just played on his own turn. Oh, did he? Oh, uh, my bad. I thought it was on his opponent's turn. Yep. He just Never uh, mind then. He just nuked the board because he didn't want uh, another double strike attack and mm -hmm. the leader attack, so he just figured it would be worth it. I think if he had the denial, the denial was definitely the better option. Yeah. But at the same time, that was probably that was definitely good play. It shuts, shuts down the aggressiveness. Yeah. So now he's got to re re uh, reassess. Mm -hmm. He can't really go hyper aggressive because he's not at five life. He can't activate his surge leader ability. Mm -hmm. But he's gonna still swing to net that draw. Draw two. Ditch a card here. Very unfortunate that he lost one card mm -hmm. last time around. He ditches the weeks because now I think it's too far gone. To be able to justify That's a interesting. Look at his hand. He actually doesn't have. Oh, he has one more ape. But other than that, he doesn't have a lot of aggressive cards. It's, this is actually going to be quite an aggressive turn here. Mm. He's going to go up to twenty here on his ten. He might be forced to take it because he is tapped out, or he's going to force the awakened surge, which is pretty mm -hmm. insane. Just trying to. So he's going to. He's going to kill yeah, probably the, the virus. Probably kill a topo. Um, most likely kills the topo. Oh, he's going to keep the leader from untapping. Uh, okay. Oh, what a disaster. Yeah, I think that that's like, if he has another um, Beerus even mm -hmm. to do next turn again, mm -hmm. yeah, I don't think there's coming back from that. L like the the surge with the surge leader, especially just not having your leader attack. Yeah, it's really rough. So you, you lose out on card advantage pretty quick. Time. And he's tapped out now, so he won't really be able to do anything about this ape attack. Yeah. Well, now or the Beerus attack. Now they're even, I guess, because he he didn't get to attack with his uh, Colin mm -hmm. didn't get to attack with the leader last turn. Yeah. But Colin would be in like crazy good position if he had swung with his leader instead of the Bardock ape mm. last turn. Yeah, because now we're, he's starting to get to a low enough life where you can't really just take the free damage anymore. That's true. And last I looked in it, when we looked in his hand, I believe he had three super combos as well. Well, he's just taking life like it's nobody's business. Uh, maybe we can get a shot of Joey's hand here to see what he has exactly. He's kind of hiding it, but he's going to pan out a little bit more. He's got two super, three super combos in hand. Mm. So she's not di he's not dying, but he's about to lose his super combos. And you always want to yeah. play your super combos on offense instead of defense. That Master Roshi negate is going to come in pretty clutch. Yep, and there comes the super combos. Super combo. He's got yeah. a little bit more to go. Five. He could just Surge Awaken. 
The fact that he's playing the super combos probably means he's probably going to try and save the Surge Awaken, Oops. I'd imagine. What is that? Oh, he's, is oh he, oh, he's going to awaken into the... Holy... That's very good timing on this. He's going he's gonna to have to Surge Awaken now, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he's, if he doesn't, he's dead. He yeah. has to take away the Triple Striker, he's dead. Mm -hmm. Or he's just going to lose his whole hand, I mean... There goes Beerus. Beerus, bye-bye. And when you can pull this off, sometimes it's a little bit difficult. Mm -hmm. But when you can pull it off, it's so explosive and so dangerous. With yeah. the Surge Leaders being able to awaken whenever, mm -hmm. obviously it's a little bit easier. Um, decks like Beerus and stuff struggle with bringing it out. but The fact that he caught him tapped out too is just huge 100%. here. He just yeah. took the offering as well. Draw two, and now Colin is sitting with a Bible in his hand. Mm -hmm. yeah, swing for Triple Strike. You probably don't combo just because he's going to take your, your thing away. But he went up to 40 just to say, hey. Yeah, I think he's just saying, hey, you have to awaken yeah, now. You, you don't have, have a choice. And use one of your surge. Yeah. Or you're dead. Bean is very good also. Like, we can't forget about that. Mm -hmm. It's interesting that he chose to untap the yellow energy. He might have a Nimbus. Possibly, yeah. Which is why. Or maybe for the Master Roshan to get that he has in his hand. Because mm -hmm. right now at 6 life, there's nothing Joey can play, especially that he, if he awakens, that'll uh, that'll stop it. Well, he actually didn't he awaken. No, he comboed yeah. over it. He had three super combos in hand. Then. Mm -hmm. Well, that's all of them. Knowing that your opponent doesn't have any more super combos is pretty good, though. Yeah, yeah. No lie. Definitely takes away their options. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't answer the five drop. No. Yeah, not not only does he have to put some pressure on, he has to answer that board. Nope. The fact that he's going to have to swing at the Bardock, most likely, and maybe combo to play a Beerus to kill the um, Goku. Mm -hmm. That's like the ideal play, but again, you're not pressuring the leader. Yeah, Your opponent has way more cards in hand than you do. Because you just neg two on the arrival, mm -hmm. and when you're when you're playing this mirror and you're you're having to arrival stuff on your turn, there it is. It's usually never good. Yep, predicted. Gonna hope that the Bardock goes as well, but he has so much combo power in his hand. I don't know if he'll be able to. Mm -hmm. How much combo power? And he has the uh, negate as well, I believe. He does still have the negate. Bye bye, Bardock. I don't know if I let that go. Short of me having another answer That's in my hand, I don't know if I let that go. 15k combo. Maybe he was worried that he was just going to awaken and kill it anyways, but I, th I think I agree with you. I think that I think that I would have protected that as well. Because you have the life. I mean, maybe it was the fact that he was going to have to protect it again against the Beerus. That's fair. Yeah. So but I he guess has to negate for the Beerus. That's true. And if he wants to combo up on the Vegeta, that's fine because you have super combos and he doesn't. Mm-hmm. And here's the Surge Awaken. Mm -hmm. He's going to play the five drop Goku. He got it. He got it with the Beerus. Ooh. Disastrous. Wow. He says anything you can do, I can do better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and that uh, that Goku's just so such a crazy card. Uh, there goes the Beerus, and here it comes in for triple strike. He's got it. Call it's got to see super combos eventually, so it's not like it's the end of the world. Mm -hmm. He, right, oh, the secret rare got Ooh, critted. Oh, that's no. rough. That would have been the ultimate win con next turn. Yeah, that would have been really good. I'm. He could have had a topo to I'm stop. I'm kind of surprised he took that life there. I, yeah. I feel like being at four is just so much safer. Yeah. Because now he's he has a negate. I mean, yeah. he has the negate, but, but if it swings again, he's dead. And at the same time, we know that uh, Joey plays the cooler. So if he had had the cooler here, yeah, it could have just been game. Well, again, he doesn't have a lot of cards in his hand. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why he took the offering hit. And then also he um, it's called. He also does not uh, have any super combos left. That is true. That's that's the one big advantage that Colin has right now is he has super combos so left. So this is where the monkey comes in the best. Mm -hmm. You have a little bit extra mana you're not using. You just pay two. Now you got some more cards. Now you got some more cards. He's going to comfortably pass turn, knowing that he can get triple strike to death because he has a surge. Mm -hmm. And it's looking kind of dim for Colin. If he were to have a Vegeta right now to nuke the board, that'd be pretty insane. So let's see. He does have a double strike chomp. Uh, ooh, he has the uh, Fu Mysterious uh, whatever in his hand. The uh, the 10 drop one. Mm -hmm. So he, uh, Yeah, he does, but he's far away from that. I think he overwhelms the other mirror he has in his hand. He has the, the uh, 
7 drop Mira, that gains infinite attack power. So I think you swing with that. He doesn't have any fu any super combos in his hand. That's mm -hmm. crazy. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think that he just plays defensively this turn, and uh, next turn he dro oh he uh, he drops the foo and tries to win the game that turn. One, two, three, four, five. Because uh, the next turn he can play it. Yeah, I think he just plays the the, the creator absorbed, and he'll get enough cards in his drop area to be able to play the foo next turn. I think he'll get there for it for sure, because he'll probably use his his, his uh, surge ability, get one card that way. Mm -hmm. I'll probably just swing with my leader, give it double strike crit. Ability. That's not bad. Okay, yeah, he is going for the mirror, which we know he has the double strike as well. So maybe he's just going to try and put him... Although well, Joey he can't put him to one. Nimbus. Joey does have Nimbus. Mm. Oh, he's got so much gas in his hand. It's insane. it's insane. He's going to neg one here. Well, neg two off the Nimbus, then the other. Mm. So he's probably going to discard the other five drop he has in his hand. And there it goes. Yep, yep. So like right now, I think it's just a game of how can I get my opponent to use his uh, surge abilities yep. because it's going to be pretty hard for either of them to kill each other until those are gone. Yeah, I think you swing with your leader, give it a double strike. Why are you swinging with the Roshi? Oh, no. What is happening here? P put an ape in play? That's I the only thing that really makes sense. I think he's going to arrival a Beerus and try to kill his his, uh, his triple striker. Drop. Yeah, that's the move. Oh, or he's, okay. Untap that blue-yellow he has. He's finally got a blue-yellow a blue yellow <laughs> in energy mm -hmm. on turn five it took. Oh, interesting. So he doesn't go for that. He goes for he the red. He has a topo in hand, I believe, if okay. I'm not mistaken. We know he plays it because it's in the energy. So mm -hmm. if he has a topo and the other, and uh, Joey does not have the, um, what's it called, the uh, cooler. Mm -hmm. That's all she wrote. Try to think. So I think he is still going to arrival something. But, uh. This game has been interesting. It, it's 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 kind of got an interesting swing where it was aggressive first. Mm -hmm. Is he just trying to do damage? I, I guess. Uh, I guess. Interesting. He's got a top in hand, so it's going to turn off his turn, and he could just fool for game. So I don't know why he's... That's what he's... I'm pretty sure he's trying to get one in cheap now, and then next turn he's going to try and fool for game because it has double strike. Yeah, but he can still take away the double strike. Uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, because it doesn't negate leaders. Why is he going this hard? I don't know. I'm confused. Maybe he's unaware of the leader thing. He's gonna surge. Surge? Question mark. I don't know. He still has he still has mana for Topo, so he still has that next turn. But yeah, I think he's trying to f and he's comboing the Topo. I think he's trying to fill energy for uh, for the Foo next turn. That's the only way this play makes sense. Oh, I don't know what's happening right now. Yeah, this is... That is the only way that makes sense, but you can yeah. also ditch these cards on defense. You don't have to be ditching them on offense. I yeah, guess. yeah. Like, sure, you want to pull up, push on offense, but again, mm. you're probably dead on the swing back. Yeah, yeah. Because he's got a lot more cards. He's going to say, sure, I'll take one damage. And sure. he's got three attacks coming. Or yeah. I guess he has... Or no, he comboed the Topo. He comboed... He might have another one in hand. Maybe we're, we're bad. Oh, he took the damage, and he's just going to try and kill him with the leader. What? Big brains. No, uh, try again, serve. He gets plus 10k, like it's nothing. Oh, yeah, because of the leader ability. Oh, did he get did it? Did he not have it? I think he got it. I think he got it, yeah. Yep, I think he, he did. was 5k on Wow, that. I think he got lucky on that. No way. So the the fact that the leader can't take away the uh, fact that the leader can't take away the double strike from the other leader was really what uh, I think won him that match. So, yeah, he uh, outsmarted all of uh, both of us for sure. Uh, it was interesting. I think he got uh, kind of uh, – Joey got kind of lucky that he got all those super combos early, yeah, and oh, then, okay. yep, and then Colin I think got a little lucky there that he didn't happen to have any way to negate his attack. Yeah, I just went to double check. He had exactly enough. He was five k short a 5K? of combo. Yeah, five k short of combo. That was uh, intense. Um, I think Colin read that really, really well. Mm -hmm. He managed to um, to playing the deck. You understand sometimes like he probably has a bunch of one k's in hand. He doesn't have it mm -hmm. kind of thing. So he probably uh, just guessed correctly and he punished. He was punished for it. I think he really counted on the fact too that like if he doesn't. So if he doesn't win that turn, then he has to rely on yeah. the Topo to not die. So if the guy, if he does have the cooler, I mean, the game's just over instantly. Yeah, he did the math perfectly. To be yeah. fair. I feel like he could have maybe comboed a little bit less off the um, off on the Roshi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he, he dropped a good amount of uh, energy there, mm -hmm. or a good amount of stuff there. Because even if just one of those cards is a 5K combo piece, it would have been 
good games for Colin. But you got to go big or you got to go home. I mean, yeah, it's it's when it comes down to, to a decision like that. It's it's basically there's two paths, and both of them, depending on your opponent's hand, could be the right one, and you just got to commit. So we'll see. So Colin's up one game. We'll have to see. Uh, he didn't really – I guess he used Sun Zoom Bean a little bit. But for the most part, that was just eight beat down pretty much for game one. Eight beat down. They both used their Awaken combo to put their Gokus in play. And it was definitely a very close match. He basically won by a turn. Basically won by a turn. Mm -hmm. Well, he literally just won by 5K. Skin of his head. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So even almost less than that even. So, uh, we'll have to see. I'm wonder, interested in what they sided in. Yeah, the side deck game is probably is very, very important in this. Mm. Um for Colin, he's got, a f he's got like some things, but he, like probably side in the cooler maybe, to go against the topo. Mm -hmm. You can side in. Let me see here. Nimbus is okay, but I don't know. I think he might side in the Fush Rider and the Mystery. He could bring in. Oh no, that's TN. Does he have? Uh he doesn't have those. I think that uh, Joey's probably going to bring in some more Denial of Hopes. Yeah, probably. That would probably be very good for this. Yeah, if he manages to Denial of Hope even like one or one ape, it's mm -hmm. worth it big time. And possibly Fush out at a Mystery as well, seeing the fact that he's uh, going first this game. Yep, he's going to have yeah. being on the turn gives you a lot of advantage in that sense, mm -hmm. yeah, for sure. So we'll see. And I wonder if he'll bring in, because he's only main decking two Grade A Pardox. I'm wondering if he's bringing any more of those in, because those also seem very good in this matchup. Fantastic. I do definitely think that this leader has kind of shown that it's, pro it's probably the best leader for this tournament. There was a lot of representation in top yep. 16. and I think I think a big part of it as well is that a lot of the uh, veteran and seasoned players w chose to play it. Mm -hmm. I think uh, the pilot makes the deck. So, uh, right? So oh, no, yeah. There's a lot of thinking. You're going to get punished. So I think it's just a very high, uh, high skill, high reward kind of deck. Mm -hmm. And... These players identified with it, so they played it mm -hmm. and got rewarded for it, obviously. I think another thing about the deck that makes it so interesting is there's so many different cards that you can play. It's uh, And in a meta that's pretty undefined, like we were going into this tournament, the fact that you can make a lot of different switches depending on what you're playing against really helps the deck out a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We'll see how it goes. Being on the turn, like we said, helps a lot. So mm -hmm. did uh did Colin go first round one the first game? I think Colin won. The I think he did. I'm yeah. Pretty sure because he was higher seed. Mm -hmm. Actually, it was Joey higher seed. Joey might be higher seed. But uh, oh, I but I think so. that that's gonna play a big part. Having that extra energy is really important 100%. whenever you're in any kind of mirror match. 100%. I think I think just in general, like going. F there's no there is no negative to going first really. Not in this game, no. It's uh, it can be more important depending on the matchup. Like some matchups, obviously you want to go first, but it's not as big a deal. But uh, in pretty much every mirror match, going first is just going to be a massive advantage. That's fair. All right. So. Okay. Is that a Tian Shenhan returning fire I saw in his hand? Maybe. I think it might have been. That would have been. Something that both these players could have theoretically sided into and try to bait their opponents. He does play it. Yep, he plays three, and I think he plays some as well. He does not have any. He has two, three inside deck. Three inside deck? Okay. Three seems to be the magic number uh -huh. um, in all decks. Pretty much everybody seems to be playing him at three just because mm -hmm. he really hurts uh, the red, the blue deck specifically, but then also decks like this who want to untap on their turn. He, yeah. yeah. See, being on the turn just opens up your denial of hope right away. He's got the perfect mana as well Yeah. so far, so... Just to discard the Ginyu. Mm -hmm. And just gets to do a bunch of good things. Yep, and we'll have to see. I'm wondering if uh, Colin's going to be as aggressive this game as he was last game. That was uh, a big part of, I think, what helped him to win, is he was just doing uh, more things earlier mm -hmm. than Joey since they were kind of had the same game plan. Yep. It's kind of rough now because if he plays the Bardock ape into it, like you got to play through them eventually. Mm -hmm. Is that an ape in his hand? If you, if you, you got to play the ape, right? And if you, uh, if you don't, then okay, well, he's not going to, but okay. you got to play through them eventually. And like just waiting for your opponent to tap out isn't the best thing. But one drop, Broly, that says, I'm going to look at your hand now. 
He doesn't have the denial even. What does he take here? I think the TN is a good choice. Topo getting rid of a Topo is like always great as well. Uh, or These are even all really even the ape, ape or even the cooler. Like there's uh, almost every card in his hand is a good target. Yeah. So if you take the super combo, technically you're ripping two cards. Like, yep. Yep. Uh, this is rough right now. Yeah, just take everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. <laughs> Question. Yeah, come on. Yep. Now he's thinking. Question is like. This is probably like the, the difference breaker. He's so close to choosing Topo. Yeah. I chose Topo. It is the best card in the in the game right now. Topo's gone now. If he has mm -hmm. another uh, Broly, what do you know the limitations on that Broly? Uh, the, oh, it has to be twenty thousand or less. Uh huh. And uh, your opponent has to have two energy up when you play him. That's that's how it works. Like active or just? Uh, untapped. untapped. Two energy untapped. Yep. If your opponent's tapped out or only has one energy untapped, you uh, will not get to take a card out of their hand. Will you get to look at their hand? Though? You still will get... Mm, no, no. You won't even get to do that. Yep. Meh. But, uh, but in this I mean, in this matchup, in this pretty format, much every yeah. turn, you're going to have pretty two much. energy it's up. It's counterplay format, so yeah. Yeah. And there's a Chompa. He oh, might go straight into the energy zone here. Mm. Like the, the fact that he did take the, uh, the Topo out makes me think that he's trying to go aggressive again. Uh, like he did game one. Yeah. I mean, you have to in this matchup. Because mm -hmm. right now, turn player is the one that gets to knock their opponent down to five first. Mm -hmm. Which, like we just see here. And Surge Awakening is really bad if you do it before like turn five. Yeah, yeah. I'm actually kind of surprised he attacked last turn and let his opponent put the ape into play. Because if he had just... I know he got to see more cards, but if he had just passed... He put, or his opponent would have basically had three energy. He didn't do anything yeah, with that he, turn. Yeah, but he wanted to filter, draw the card with his leader. Like, I understand why. Like, you always want to get that extra card. Mm -hmm. It's definitely a choice. Yeah. And he did get to discard another of the draw apes, I believe, too, which is always good yeah. to get those in your discard pile. 100%. Oh, but here's the other apes coming down right away. That's going to get maybe denialed. Does play the denial? No, he does not play the denial. No, Colin doesn't play the denial. I don't believe. Yeah, that's true. Hmm. Gonna be a lot of thinking involved here. Mm-hmm. For sure. Yep, and he wants to leave his energy open so he can react on his opponent's turn. Yeah, that's what this deck is. Mm-hmm. He's got two monkeys. Doesn't want to swing. He's gonna swing now. It is. It is very interesting now. So. Colin knows he has the cooler, so that's going to factor a lot into, I think, how he plays. Yeah, can't afford to topo, although he does play a t uh, rested energy, mm -hmm. so I don't know. Oh, yeah, so he can't play it this turn no matter what, because it's three yellow specific. One, two, draw two, please. Oh, and there's more apes. Lucky. And topo? Oh, no, His he's playing, own ape. playing the ape. Okay, so that'll tap down. Ape. Yeah, this is the chess match that is this matchup. <laughs> mm -hmm, yep. Colin should have a good amount of more cards in his hand based off life and also being t second player gets a draw first. Mm -hmm. So draw for turn, then draw with leader. Yep, yep. So that's a plus two, and then you plus two off the life. So he should have about four cards more than him in hand, than, yep. than Joey in hand. Maybe uh, three because of the two apes on board. But he's going to hit right into that Roshi negate. He says, not today. Mm -hmm. And Colin, uh, Joey can also just say, I'll t pay two. Or play the oh wow. Ooh, he's gonna oh go after no. that ape. Here we go. This is what we want to see, guys. He said if you're gonna tap my apes down, I'm just gonna take yours. Yep. And it's a twenty five uh, thousand attacker too. That's your leader. Mm. Oh Joey's probably sweat or Colin's <laughs> probably sweating right now. Ooh, I just did see in his hand he does have the Vegeta though, so he'll be able to clear his board next turn. Mm. Yeah, he's tapped out, so although this Twenty K double strikes about to hurt him a little bit. That's true, yeah. He's either gonna lose a couple cards or he's gonna take yeah. some damage. And this card goes back down to fifteen K. It comes out unrested yep. on his opponent's board. Mm hmm. Oh, you just traded your twenty K double striker for a single striking fifteen K. Nice. Yep, there you go. Seems like a good trade. Give me that card back, please. There mm -hmm. we go. And we're gonna push for some more damage here. Yep. I'll have to see. I wonder if he takes the advantage to put any combo power into it. Wouldn't be the worst decision. Uh, being tapped out, yeah. Like he could probably force the surge awakening going mm -hmm. up to like fifty-five. I think he'd force the surge awakening, or even just fifty. 
Even just something as simple as like throwing a 10k on top of it gets really awkward. Yeah. Especially since I believe he only has four cards in his discard pile. I'm not sure which super combo he plays, but his super combos might not be live. Uh, you can check there. Uh, I think you have Collins list. Okay. I have Joey's. Um, Divine Cryberus is that the no place to go? I believe that is Divine Cryberus. Yeah, I believe that is. Oh no, that's only, there's only three of them. Well, he could play two and one. Yeah, list with. It is the super combo. It is okay. So he's playing. He's probably playing. Uh, he's probably playing three sparking and one. A regular. Sparking five. Okay. So three sparking five, and he's probably playing one Jocko or something. Mm -hmm. Which is a really weird ratio, but alas, we're not here to judge. Nah, it's obviously it's working. What is the other? Okay, so no, the no, that's the negate. I'm trying to figure out what the other one that he plays Maybe is. Maybe he just cut a super combo. Very possibly, just cut a super combo. One one. At least the spectator is not a. Not a super combo, right? He only plays three of those as well. Yeah. Yeah, so Colin is only playing three super combos main deck. That's that big boy energy right there. Hmm. That's I'm not gonna lie, that's kinda strange. Well, I mean <laughs> <laughs> it's obviously been working for him. Yeah. Huh. Well, that's all that's all that's on the list. <coughs> well, he just nuked the board, he did what we thought he would do, and bye bye monkeys. Yep, yep. I mean, one of those monkeys weren't even his, so it's not the end of the world. Mm -hmm. He's still at the life advantage. Yeah, he definitely had to do that this turn, or he's going to be in a, a very bad position. 100%. Yeah. I think I think he goes for the kill this turn. Maybe. His opponent only has one energy up. Uh, he has to Surge Awaken to be able to topo. He has a Nimbus in hand. He mm -hmm. can just be safe next turn. So I would probably just swing with my leader, Awaken. Uh, well, like put the no, because if he awakens after putting the chomper down, he loses the the double strike. I d also don't think does he have any blue energy at all. Um, I are don't? you talking about uh, uh, Colin? Colin? Yeah, he does not. Not yet. I don't think he does. So not yet. yeah, that's also very dangerous. It means he can't send Zubin at all. Yeah. And draw two. Oh, there's the TN gone. Mm -hmm. he figures that hey, you don't have blue energy. Yeah, so why have the TN? Yeah, hundred percent. Colin has uh. Probably, probably didn't charge a blue energy on purpose, just because he is weary of the um, Tien. Mm -hmm. Got in the way of what he's trying to do. And super combos, no draw. Yeah, I'll say he's still. That's the four or less life one, so yep. he wouldn't get the draw on that. No draw and the topo. What is his angle? He's gonna have rival the Beerus. That's what he's doing. Yep. Yep. Rival the Beerus. So my my guess would be it, he probably has the SS4 Goku in hand and that's what he's going for. One hundred percent. There's no other. There's no other play to be making right now. Um, he's probably gonna pop the Ginyu or not. I uh, guess nah. he doesn't care about combo power. Let's just get rid of the threat. That's fair. I would probably kill the Ginyu just because on the, on the attack they're the exact same power level. Nine K doesn't matter. Like uh, nineteen K doesn't true. matter. That is true. Yep. Yep. Um. So and then the the Ginyu's a five K combo piece that he mm -hmm. could use. Super combo. And just says, see, if, yeah. Yep. So he would have yeah, lost yeah. another card from his hand. Yeah, you're right. He definitely should have killed the Genyu. Yeah. Well, he might have been thinking something else. I never try. I never. Uh, <laughs> I never assume I'm better than these guys. <laughs> it's because I'm here and they're there. That's fair. Although he does have the secret in hand. Oh, he does. Okay. He does. Um, Colin has a secret in hand, but I think if he plays it, he's lost. If he plays it on an empty board, yeah, it won't do all that much. The one thing about that Janimba Seeker Rare is, while it seems powerful, you need like multiple other attacks to go with That's it. That's why it's very good in Bulma. Yeah. If you spam out a lot of barrier blockers, oh. uh, even if they're for just 4Ks, mm. you can swing and they become 20Ks. Yep, yep. It's very good in Bulma. Very good in like slower baby variants. Yep. Uh, and yep, there it is. Surge Awaken. And Declaration was done properly. He draws three beautiful cards. Draw three seems pretty good. Mm. Can't, yeah. can't argue. Draw three seems good. How about draw three, untap one? That's, that's fair. <laughs> and uh, the Kefla leader just un just draws four, right? Yes. The Kefla leader draws four. I'm going to play her. <laughs> just Honestly, the deck's super fun. <laughs> draw four, by the way. He's going to swing probably into a Nimbus here. He might be hoping for the... No, he already used his uh, battle card negate. So I think Joey's in the driver's seat on this one here. Yeah, it definitely seems so. Yeah, going go, Being turn player is just so important. Mm-hmm.
So here we're probably going to see a Nimbus, I would assume. Most likely. Probably going to Nimbus. Oh, my God. No, he's oh, just nope. going to drop his hand. Oh, Lord. Not like okay. This. That's really horrible. Yeah, that was four cards, I think. Oh, now his hand's looking tiny in comparison. Mm -hmm. And even like just being at three life, that's that's huge. Oh, what is that? That's true. I'm I'm su I'm surprised he did that instead. Well, he of had to. He didn't have a negate. Well, he could have surged though and gotten rid of the triple strike. I guess maybe he didn't want to go down to two. I think he's hoping to have an explosive turn now. Mm -hmm. He's gonna charge this rested. Um, and that's that's the first time he hit a blue energy there. Yeah, he's gonna probably swing with his leader, surge awaken, untap that rested energy. Uh, this is kind of rough here. Mm -hmm. Pay two. For draw two. Draw some cards. Try to get his hand back up to where it needs to be, but I think that it might be too far gone. Yeah, we'll have to see. I think he's trying to get to his Goku combo, uh, because obviously if he doesn't awaken this turn, he's probably going to have to awaken on his opponent's turn. Yep, absolutely. So he wants to try and get that combo through, and I don't think he has the pieces for it. No, no, no he doesn't even have the chance to, because he's going to get topoed. Yep. And if he wants to awaken, he can, but it's going to be still not great for him, to mm. be honest. Did he attack with his leader? He did, but it got topoed. Oh, okay. So now he just drew the cards after. Okay. okay. Turn is basically over. Mm. And discard here. Oh, but there goes the Goku. Goku. I think that's just a pipe dream at this point. Yeah. Um, I don't know how you win this because Search Ku doesn't need to dig into his life for anything. Yeah, the f he's at five still. Yeah. He doesn't need to charge really anymore rough. either, so he's drawing off that. Even if he does get like a Banisher f or a Fu 10 drop or something like that, I don't think it's enough anymore. Yep. I think you just swing with your leader here uh, just to draw the cards. Mm -hmm. Or no, he's awake. Never mind. It doesn't matter anymore. I oh, think you yeah. just swing with the triple strike. You have the topo sick pass your turn go. You have the topo sick pass your turn go. Well, interesting. Thus, he has the denial for yeah, the topo, so, he could so rip that the topo, won't work. Yeah. It'll stop the attack. Mm. Slows roll, but it will yeah. not um, do anything else besides that. Yeah. No combos. How unfortunate. Colin wants him to combo. Yeah. He can clearly, I mean, yeah. Nice there's cheese. the there's the surge. Oh no, it's just comboing. Oh, okay. This is probably not a good idea. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this. The fact that he's tapped out now. Well, he, he can. So he can untap one, and he has a Senzu Bean. So technically, he has access to two. Yeah, but right that's now. after the attack. So yeah. if something big happens here. Mm. Like, I, I would just go all in double strike crit with my leader. Because mm. what's going to happen? Oh, my oh, God. There's the Banisher. That's pretty good. That's why you always want to do it on your own turn, lock your opponent's leader down. Mm. Oh, what a disaster. And, ooh, he's going to have a critical attack going in. Yep. I'm pretty sure at this point he has to surge. Super combos are alive now. Oh, geez, yeah. Oh, yeah, because he took the life. So he could potentially surge, take away crit. But I don't know if it's worth it. He could take away crit and double strike. So mm -hmm. he has a board that he wants, he could erase, and it'd be pretty efficient. You got to do it, Chief. Yep. Yep, you got it at this point. Take the tap that blue. And yep. So the nice thing about Bean is at least he's gonna be at uh he's gonna be at twenty for the rest of the turn. Yep, which absolutely. will help a lot, yeah. So it goes up to twenty here, he just needs a little bit more. And it looks like he used his surge to actually increase his attack value. To a 10,000. It's for the duration of the turn, right? I thought it was just for the battle, but I'm not positive on, on that. On the card, it yeah. says for the turn, but it's it could be phrased the same way as super combos are. Mm. If it says for the turn, it should be for the whole turn. But I'm not 100% sure Because like that. the old super combos also say for the turn, mm -hmm. but they got eroded, and I feel like they kept printing the super combos with that. Well, they give themselves 10k power for the t or combo power for the turn. They don't give it to the okay, card you're comboing with. Oh, yeah, that's fair. Yeah. So, yeah. So, I guess he's a 30k for the turn, mm -hmm. which just turns off everything. Um, Joey's going to lose some cards comboing in this, on this here. Yep, he's using those 30. super combos. Force him to lose a little bit of something here. Maybe he has another one. There's no thank you. Mm -hmm. Although he did over combo on that, so it was pretty good. Very worth. And that's one surge down. So yep. 
You can't really kill him this turn. I don't see a way. Probably not through four energy. No. That's He's got a lot of options with that. If, if he had a surge still up to like now, he could have actually uh, food mm. and then surge awakened and had access to sensor beans. Yeah. But now I think he realizes that the food is option. He's going to drop any extra card that's not a food. Mm -hmm. I think the fact that it took him so long to get to blue energy this game kind of hurt him. I think, yeah. And also he didn't have any, uh, what's it called? He didn't have any Weeses early. He didn't have like, mm -hmm. he didn't have anything he needed early, to be honest. It was yeah. kind of just bad. He had he had a lot he drew like a lot of Goku's and like mm -hmm. threat cards, but that doesn't help if you can't get your game going. Absolutely. Sometimes the the, the multicolor aspect can be so bricky and mm -hmm. terrible. Yep. That's interesting. So he tapped oh no, he only tapped one of his No he did, he tapped both of his blue energy. No, he's got another code. blue right there. Oh he does. Okay, never mind. He's gonna get the squeeze down. He obviously has the Fed Register in hand, but now it's just a question of whether or not Joey kills him here. Mm. He can. He has the TN. He has the TN, yeah. He could just cheese out he the TN. He has the TN and the cooler. Oh, there's a TN. Mm. So now he's... The plan he wanted... What he was going to do now no longer works. He wanted to play the Foo for six, have one energy open, and be able to untap stuff. But mm. now that uh, he's got the TN, he can no longer untap stuff. So he'll have that one energy, but I don't think he'll be able to go for game with it. Yeah, see, that TN starts at 20k, right? I believe. Or is it only 10k? He's a 10k. He's a 10k? Okay. And okay, we're just, he's just... Could a rival kill Topo, which I don't know if the right, that's the right play. You're making that's yourself susceptible to that Banisher Fu once again. Yeah, and the fact that, like, it wasn't threatening attack power. Mm -hmm. That seems like a weird time to combo. And so now he's down to one energy, which means no topos. Oh, he does have that. Let's try again, sir. Well, he he might have just turned the turn off because he can't he can't arrival anymore. Well, he and now I wonder. He, well, he could. Okay, he didn't do it. He did have the option there to. Oh no, that wouldn't work. Never mind. All right, well, let's see what happens here. He's mm -hmm. got the Banisher Fu, and he has a little bit of a board now as well. Yeah, that's just probably the time to go for that because it'll blank his opponent's turn too. Yeah, and then maybe kill him on that. Like, Ideally, you get into two life, mm -hmm. which is I don't think it'll be hard because the Banisher Fu could do that by himself. You just swing with Banisher Fu, combo yeah. the Roshi. Either his hand's gone or he's at two life. Yep, yep. And and he's, he's, yeah. Colin's also kind of running out of turns here. He needs to kind of do something. 100%. If something doesn't happen now, it's not gonna. It's gonna be g yeah. good games. He just has to drop it. Mm -hmm. There's no other. There's just no other thing you do. Charge for sure. Keep an energy open, and just drop it. I think maybe he's just deciding what he wants to charge. Yeah, he's just. I think he's. I think he's making sure that that he doesn't have another line of play. He's not he could charging. Do. He's not going for it this turn. Interesting. Mm, is he going for it this turn? What's so happening? That's five. For what? Unless, unless he drew like an ape, he's, he's gonna, gonna play? hard play the. F the, um, f uh, not Fu, the, um... Oh, we got the Seeker Rare. Ah, uh, that's a misplay. Uh, that's not good. The misplay gets, uh, the, not misplay, the, the Seeker Rare gets hit by Champa, the Fu doesn't. This is, uh, it's, mm. I think it's the incorrect play. I think he thinks he has another turn, so he's, he wants to play the Seeker Rare, um, potentially, obviously he's not going to crit three, mm -hmm. but he's going yeah. to instead, uh, uh, what's it called? Get the offering off. Yep. That's yep. basically what he wants to do. He wants to draw two more cards. I, th um, I think at this point, honestly, it might be better to crit the one life for the offering. Yeah, to go down to three. It's yeah. not the end of the world. Because he has, I believe he has a Toko in his hand. His hand is not looking strong. That's the thing. His yeah. hand is one Champa, one beer, a super combo, and the Foo. Yeah. So playing the Foo would have made sure he's not dying next turn just because um, his opponent would have to combo everything to survive. And also, he's very susceptible to this now. Yep, yep. Because that's going to make his all guys really very weak. Yep, his Beerus is 5k, his Janemba is 20k. I don't think he plays after image to kill the Janemba. Uh, no, he doesn't. And even at that, the Janemba is 20k. Yeah. So. yeah. So he's going to nuke the board here, except uh, the Beerus survives. The Beerus does survive, and if it, his leader is at negative 20, 20 or 30, I don't remember. Negative 15. He gets minus 30 in total. Okay, yep. So, ne so it's negative 15. So it's still an attack threat. Yeah. And now we guess we're going to see if he offerings or not, if he takes it. And I'm I'm kind of surprised he didn't just play the the Champa here. So offering. So 
Sorry. Draw two. Yeah, I heard. Okay. Uh, yep. I heard the judge mention offering. Don't yep, forget. Yep. So it's good. <laughs> so he's gonna get, he is gonna get to see two more cards, mm -hmm. which could make a big difference here. And now his leader is at twenty for the turn. So you just swing with the baby Janemba, or you keep it untapped so that it can't swing back. But you're not. No one's swinging over for forty k. Yeah, yeah. You'd probably just swing with the baby Janemba. Is yeah, for sure. And past turn. I think he's still swing with the beers too. It's big enough where it can't five, really get. It's five k. But but his leader is at negative uh, 15, fifteen. You're right. So well, it's at negative ten now. Because uh oh, Vegeta because of the Vegeta. Money. Yep. Yeah, I forgot about that. Absolutely. So now it actually swayed back into Colin's favor. So it's very interesting. It depends on all the cards in Joey's hand. All right, so he didn't this negate the attack. Combos. Yeah. Mm. Oh, because it's lowered by the Vegeta. Yep. I'm very sad. That's that's very big. It very good play by Joey. Gonna, oh, well, he forced that surge. Mm. Oh, not bad. He's really adamant about staying at four life. Yeah, yeah. Well, we've done a whole lot of nothing here. <laughs> Fast turn. That was his leader swing, but his leader swing is probably going to go into the TN because... Oh, no, it can go into him because he's at... Most yeah, because he's still at low, but he'll probably just take this one, I'd imagine. The Beerus has been invaluable. I think the price for Beerus are going to spike up really high. That card is very, very good. It's very interesting with the, the pricing stuff because we have a new set coming out, so who knows how that'll yeah. change the meta. I think I think these these uh, arrival cards. I don't know unless the set nine's filled with arrival cards. Mm. I think that these cards are going to stay relevant no matter what. Mm. Because the Beerus is very strong. That card will definitely stay relevant. Yeah. But we never know. Like blue blue red might take over the format just because blue red is a crazy color combination. You know, I'm going to uh, make the, uh, the the crazy statement. I don't like that deck that much. The swap. The swap. I don't think it's going to be the freezer swap deck that pops off. I think it's going to be like a a random um, either with the Broly leader or something See, I, else. I think the Frieza swap deck's good, but I don't like the uh, the invoker mechanic that much. Why not? Uh, it's just so rough early game, because until you get an invoker out, you have like half of your deck is dead cards. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. I don't think it's awful or anything, but I think people are overestimating it a little bit. I think people are just excited to play something new. That like, is true. It is a very cool mechanic. Yeah. I'll give you that. Like, we, the search stuff came out yesterday, and... Half the people at this tournament were playing it. Mm -hmm. I really like, I think that uh, Bandai's done a really good job of bringing in new mechanics that are both interesting without being like insanely overpowered. I know mm -hmm. when a lot of other games make uh, new mechanics, they're just crazy. Whereas I think they're doing a good job of bringing in interesting and balanced yeah, mechanics. I would agree. Yeah. Here's the swing into the leader, most likely. Mm hmm. Is he going to surge crit double strike Champa? That is the question. That's is possible. Colin doesn't have very many cards in hand. Mm -hmm. Oh. No, he... he he's, he's, he's surging good. himself to increase his, uh, his uh, power for the turn. Yeah. I, uh, yeah, it's like it's good, but his opponent also still can do that, so mm. you never want to be the last one to surge. Yeah. I think at this point he kind of has to, though. He's just got too many attacks coming at him. Mm -hmm. going to be at 25 for the turn, so he's going to swing with that 19. Mm-hmm. I think it's better not to. I feel like you just either play a threat or pass turn. Yeah, it's going to be really scary if Colin gets to his next turn, though. He still has that foo play. Yeah, but nothing has changed since a lot of the turn before that, right? But one life has changed, but mm. uh, he has a beer on board, I guess. But even at that, it's just not enough damage. Pay two, draw two. Still very relevant. Mm -hmm. Good in this point in the game. It's the only way these surge decks will draw. Yep, yep. In the late game, that's why you never you tend not to use them earlier. Mm, oh yeah, for sure. Especially now when you're you know on six energy and you just have two, you can just throw away. Mm -hmm. Oh, draw for turn, pray. So this goes. I want to see a game three. This this matches are very this match very is entertaining. Good. It's very very. Um, you have to be very intelligent. Very calculating. Uh, the Chompa would be cool. Cause you can either no, I think you charge the chomp. I think you charge the chompa to be honest. I don't think it matters. You charge here. the blood. I, no, I mean, you can yeah. give your leader. D so oh, he's out of. He has one surge left, correct? Joey yeah. does. Joey does. Okay, so I mean, you could go. F you could go charge. Ugh, that yeah, that's rough because you can't really charge the deadly poison. And you don't really want to charge super combo, but I think the play here is drop the foo. 
and then give double strike to your leader since that can't be negated. Uh, don't charge a super combo. Please don't charge a super combo. It's not. Uh, there it goes. That's definitely what he's doing. Yep, here it is. This is the turn. It's going to one person's winning this turn. One person or the other person. <laughs> you don't like the super combo charge? Unless he's going to deck out. Maybe that's why he did it. That's possible. He doesn't have very many left. Now you can't do anything turbo. Mm. I think he wants to double strike Chompa for game. That's a terrible idea because you're you're going for game with the foo. Don't ever get that twisted. Well, the, he can still remove the foo's double strike though. Don't forget. He could. You're leader. not wrong. Yeah. So. But even at that, I feel like he just. All right. All right. Uh, we got a little bit of announcement here. Robbie just beat uh, Jonik in top four, so uh, Robbie's going to be the one playing in the finals against whoever wins this match right here. So we've got our fire and a half our finalists. We'll get you guys the info on what he's playing in just a second. Mm -hmm. So let's see, it looks like. So I'm with the beers first. He's trying to get that. Let's see. He, he looks like he searched for the increase in power. So he's 25 for the turn. This is going to be very difficult for Colin to push through. He would. It's almost as if he needed a super combo or something to push through. Mm. I think he, yeah, because he can't use any abilities anymore. Yep. So there aren't going to be any arrivals I to think, save him. I think the correct play was to charge that uh, Frost Deadly Poison he has in his hand last turn. Not this turn right here, but the turn before that. Mm. Just setting up into this one, because that way he could have not charged anything this turn and been fine. I, uh, I think he might have drawn that with the ape. Because uh, I think he... Ape? Did he play an ape last turn to nope. draw two? No? Yeah. That was uh, Joey who did that. Okay. I mean, Joey's hand has a lot of negates in it, actually. He doesn't have that much combo power. Yeah, as I say, I don't think... I don't no, I don't think he's getting through this turn, to so be honest. swung with the Beerus. Oh, that, that gives you a lot of... He passed? Wow, okay. Sick. Didn't want to give him one more card. Interesting. Okay. So, Robbie is playing Surge Coup. Tricolor Surge Coup, it looks like. So no matter what, this is going to be a Surge Coup versus Surge Coup final. Yeah. <laughs> Top three Surge Coups. Oh, wow. And the, the turn ended? Did I miss something? He just passed. Oh, wow. He just beat the combo and he just passed. That's oh. kind of surprising. Uh, Joey played it very well on the, the Seeker Ridge and Ember. Mm -hmm. Um he managed to survive without surging. Mm -hmm. That's all she wrote for that one. Uh, the 10 drop foo only negates uh, your opponent's battle area. It does not negate the leader. Or it, it negates yep. everything but the leader, I should yep. say, because it also negates hand. Swinging for 19 here. Cannot give it double strike, but I don't think that's an option regardless. Mm -hmm. And I think, I don't know if he can push for it. He has a Nimbus in hand still. Even if he negates, he can still, he can still, uh, cooler the negate. Like, there's, there's yep. just yep. so many options. He can pay five for the triple striker if he wanted to, to be honest. He has it in hand. Mm. And that's, that's going to put offering, or no, it won't put offering because he, uh, he's still under the foo. He is still under the foo. Yeah. But, just but, but it is large. It. <laughs> just playing it duh. doesn't hurt. If he takes this damage, I think he plays it in all ins. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's the play, mm -hmm. hundred percent. But it do, it, w it doesn't take much for him to. Oh, he's taking and it. There it is. Uh oh. All right, we might be seeing the game through here. He's instead choosing the all in with a TN. He does. I guess he has more cards in hand. I think he's trying to draw negate or bait in the gate. Yeah, percent. Yep. Oh nope, just the combo. He said no combo. Uh, TN is fifteen k. Sorry. Okay. And here it comes. Sometime today. So. The scary, I, I the scary thing now is like because he could still have an negate. You you don't not do this. You just drop it. Yeah. Mm. There's just no reason not to. At well, this point, he, he did. He d can no longer. Oh man, he's scooping scoop up. Okay, up. so he didn't have the negate. All right, so we're going to game three. Yep. Well, let's get this. Um, I think a lot of the things that Joey did right was put on the proper amount of aggression aggression mm -hmm. early. The same way um Colin did uh, game one. Mm -hmm. Um. Yep. Honestly, like I, we said at the beginning, being turn player helps a lot. Yeah, yeah. Going first is just such a big deal when it's a mirror. 
Mm. Uh, he definitely did a good job with like using the right answers to the right problems. Mm. Like he didn't waste any cards when he didn't need them, and he used the right arrivals on the right cards. I think yeah, that helped 100%, him a lot. Yeah, hundred percent. He managed to. Uh, Stall the baby's turn, mm -hmm. the baby uh, secret rare turn. Yep. Managed to deal with that without using any of his search. That on his Foo Kill turn, he surged away. Um, that's why I wanted, I thought it would be better if he played the Foo first, because if he played the Foo first, um, then he couldn't have killed him back on the swing back, mm -hmm. and then he could have a secret rare the next turn. Yeah, I, I think he should have played the Foo first as well. It's just it, because it blanks your opponent's turn, so you're not going to die there probably, mm -hmm. and then you can come down even harder. It doesn't just blank the opponent's turn. It, it's also like it, uh, what's it called? It turns on so much more stuff because it uh, it lets you empty out his hand because he's got yeah. he's got to empty out his hand to survive. Yeah, right? yeah. So he and instead of using the uh, the ability to uh, negate your your bear carrot battle cards abilities, he mm -hmm. uses it to give the ten k to survive. And and who knows? You more you may have forced him to combo with that Vegeta. That was so critical to him defending against mm. the super rare. To be fair, though, I think this is the highest level of play we've seen today, in terms of just like comboing and mm -hmm. and, and just interaction stuff. It's uh, yeah, this uh, the, this this mirror is yeah. very technical. Yeah. Just because you know, there's so many play, uh, so many different ways you can play yep. cards. Yep. So many different ways you can play cards, and so many different interactions you can have with the same card. Mm -hmm. It's like uh, there's a lot you gotta. You gotta, you gotta admit they must be tired as well. Like oh been, yeah, for sure. They've been doing this for the past two days now, and they've been at it for about four hours now. And I'm sure they've played this matchup multiple times, multiple times. And, and not to mention the amount of times they test played and stuff. Mm -hmm. So uh, pretty rough. But we're going into game three. This is it. Oh man. So let's say you think that they cited anything different? Or they think they just played with the cards that they had going into this one? Probably not. Like in Dragon Ball you don't typically side you like you side there's a few very few cards that you side going going on the Specifically like going, going, first, going first, yeah. yeah. There's a, there's a few, but I don't know. So Colin, Colin definitely has the advantage here, given the fact that he's going first. Yeah, first seems to be it's uh it's Colin's game to lose at this point mm -hmm. and Joey's game to win because mm -hmm. um Going turn, turn, being turn player just helps so much. Yeah, I expect to see him try and you know drop an ape on turn two like he did in the first game. That seemed to work really well for him, and uh, just to immediately kind of uh, good old stream chat. I love <laughs> it. Search crew. I think honestly, it's like, like we said, um, we got asked this tricolor search crew that much better than dual colors so far. I feel like it's very situational based off the matchups. Like, um, tricolor does better in certain matchups where uh, dual color kind of struggles uh, because the extra capacity to be aggressive early with Sensu Bean mm -hmm. um, is just insanely good and a lot of value. But in the mirror match, um, we're starting to see a pattern here in all our games that it's the turn player that typically has an advantage mm -hmm. uh, just because going first is so big with the whole energy and uh, being able to just pressure your opponent a lot earlier than they can pressure you because you get to cheat out that Bardock Ape with no repercussions on turn two. It all starts with that, I think. And I think that Tricolor is going to be better in any game that goes longer because the little bit less consistency you get really doesn't isn't as impactful in long games. Yep. Whereas if you're playing against like a yellow baby deck or something, it's gonna hurt you a lot more when you don't, you know, open with the blue card that you need to charge or something mm -hmm. like that. Absolutely. The consistency is also a big thing for sure. Mm. Like we saw consistency win out when Joey j with Joey's win just here. Yep. Um although now he gets it we'll get the Yep, so he's got blue red to start with, which is very So we won him. game one, he charged a combination attack game one. Mm-hmm. It's not the best card in this matchup. Like, it hits uh, the Banisher Foo he plays. It hits the five drop right there that he just charged. Mm -hmm. It's a couple things, but... But you probably rather want, like, the Senzu Beans and stuff to play with uh, rather than charge. Yeah, 100%. So, yeah. With this, with this specific matchup, the fact that you have to spam out that much aggression, you want to have the Beans in hand and the combination attack, in, in, I think. Mm -hmm. Draw for turn. Oh. Draw for turn. I'm turn. Up and charge. Uh, 
Alright, so we got all three colors now. It's nice that he got that right away, so he doesn't really have to worry about it too much anymore. Swings, draw two. I wonder what he's going to do. <laughs> Discard monkey? Yeah. He gets the combo Bardock. He opened up perfectly. And it and seems like he has it. Ooh, nope. No. Draw two. Okay. Well, that's uh, another way to do it, I guess. So that means he won't be... Uh, won't be quite as aggressive coming out for him in this game. He doesn't have it. That's so oh, unfortunate. Yeah. Oh, man, that really sucks. Because now he's tapped out and he's going to get swung back with that Bardock. And it's uh, all if, if he has the ape now. Which he doesn't. It doesn't look like he oh, does. Okay. Yeah. Looking like it's going to be that kind of game. Mm -hmm. Well, that's not bad, though, either. Crit is, crit is good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Crit is always good. Crit is good. 15k crit, crit oh, double. That's 25 better. crit double. Wow. Oh that's, my god. That's actually probably better uh, than the ape. Joey's playing god tier right now. Oh my gosh. Oh, and there goes, I believe, the one of cooler from Colin. Uh, maybe he sided in more if he has them in side deck. Let's see. Doesn't look like it. He has one in his side deck. So. He might have sided in the second one, but uh, this is disastrous, man. No, this is definitely a good swing for Joey. That was a big and hit. And see, that's that, that Beerus is a card that only the dual-color deck would probably play because you can't really fit it in the tri-color one. It's one of the things that gets edged out. Yeah. Got four life on turn, on his turn three. I don't think he has any gas to swing back with a big hit. But it's it's looking like it's going to be quite a grindy game for Colin. These surge decks can survive quite a long time. Yeah. Because they draw so much, and again, red yellow is a very just, good survivability. They're just very difficult to get a finishing shot in because they can negate your uh, dual and triple and. Yep. You got to hit them one by one. Mm -hmm. Going wide against them is actually pretty good if they don't have the Topor and Nimbus. Yep. Yep. Um, they pretty much don't have any answers to it. They lose all the cards in their hand, force their awakened surge, and then they can't draw anymore. But draw three is pretty huge. Like being able to draw three cards is quite yeah. good. Oh, it looks like he did draw the ape there. Well, it's a little bit too late. I mean, yeah. this, having this that in turn two would have been uh, significantly better. He's gonna bring it out now, though. Okay, he's taken two, Take so two. they're both taking a decent amount of damage yeah. here. Well, you don't want to like lose three cards from your hand for no reason. Mm -hmm. And he's okay with going down to five because that's when he you know, Surge Awakens. Yep. No Whis still. All right, so there's, looks like, is Joey also playing one cooler? So Joey is playing two coolers, so he does still have that play live, even though he charged one. So he has the blue up, so he can potentially send Subin. Which looks like that's what he's going to do. Play another ape, but if, if he does that, I think it's going to put him in a really bad spot. Yeah, that makes you very... Mm, that's what we were talking about, the disaster that is, the disaster that is Banisher Fu. Say bye-bye to your ape. Uh, it's just you get such, so much value off such a low oh, cost. Oh, is he saying no? Uh, uh, he's got to tap okay. it. That's good. He doesn't want to deal with the attack, and it Which replaces itself. Oh, he could technically select the either the card to work yeah, now, no. but yeah, it's pretty much always going to be the ape. Ah, uh, nope, that's it. Still worthwhile. Joey's definitely the driver's seat on this one here. Mm -hmm. He kind of took it away from Colin. Uh, it's rough for Colin because if he would have just opened an ape, he would have been able. To, this would be a whole different game right now. Yeah, he just got a slow start. Yeah. I don't think Joey has that many cards in hand yet, but draw three is going to be a thing. He's got about seven cards in hand. Mm-hmm. Swings at leader. 
No negates any combos. Mm -hmm. Colin should be up a few cards too because he used one of the apes from his discard pile. He did, but yeah. I don't think it matters in this. He's, I mean, he's only one life behind. It's not the end of the world. He doesn't mm -hmm. have board presence technically. That's it true. Just, it just seems like the momentum's in Joey's favor right now. That's all. Mm -hmm. Uh, the other top four match, Robbie won with uh, the tricolor surge coup as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. Jonik was playing, uh, his opponent Jonik was playing uh, Broly, uh, yellow Broly leader. Uh, just the classic Beerus version, uh, Beerus energy version, sorry, blue, uh, blue yellow. Mm -hmm. That deck is still very good. Be that leader is still very good. Mm -hmm. The leader is probably still one of the best leaders. Uh, just because untapping stuff will never be bad. Mm -hmm. Let's swing at the leader. See what he can get. Draw two. Yeah, while he's behind, I feel like he's not. Colin's not like. He's definitely not in a position where he can't win or anything like that. The fact that he managed to keep his opponent's board clear has helped him a lot. I think. 100%. There it goes. So mm -hmm. he gets another monkey and drop here. That's another potential play next turn. Mm -hmm. uh, he'll be able to draw four cards from his deck. I think if he's like the best way to deal with energy clog is probably to like if he if he has like dead cards in his hand that are going to come in the rest, he should play them now on the turns where he's not threatened to die, mm -hmm. but they're useful later. Mm -hmm. Either either charge him or discard him for exactly. his leader. Yeah. The longer you wait, the more punishing it'll be mm -hmm. when they're clogged in your hands. Oh, interesting. He chose to discard a Vegeta. That seems like a pretty, uh, pretty powerful card. I mean, right now it's not because there's no board presence. He might I have guess another that's true. one. But you wanna you wanna prioritize the cards that are useful right now. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if. Um, I'm not sure if, if Surge Q is going to be as big at the Red Next Regional. I feel like people are going to find out how to beat it, and other decks are going to surface. Also, the big thing is, uh, when, when is Orlando? Is that next weekend already, or is it a couple weeks? I think it's, in, it's, it's before the new set comes it out. It is before the new yeah. set? Okay. So we will be playing the same meta then. Yeah, but I don't know if, so again, I don't know if Surge Q is going to, because there's going to be a lot of crafting and brewing mm -hmm. that goes along uh, goes around, and I don't know if Goku is going to be able to hold up. Mm -hmm. um, he is going to definitely be Tier 1 still. Yes, yeah. But there, I think there'll be some decks that come up above him. And the interesting thing about him, too, is since he can be played so many different ways, the list might look very different yeah. by the time we come around to that leader. I believe so. I think people are still going to be playing this variant. Mm -hmm. And uh, some people are going to be playing like just small, maybe like eight-card differences. Mm -hmm. Maybe come someone comes up with a green build for him to include the Vegeta of the Cruels, make it a more control kind of deck. Mm -hmm. Works around like ending big bombs and stuff. Got a lot of cards in hand. No more apes in drop area. Yep, yep. He definitely he drew off those early, which is pretty good that he got to use those quickly because later in the game when you want to use your energy for other things and leave them up for arrivals, it's uh it's it's really nice to get that advantage right away and not have to worry about it. Joe and Colin having a good old-fashioned battle of the gods here. <laughs> He's going to play that monkey into the denial. Mm -hmm. Later, boom. There Would you like go. to tap something, sir? <laughs> like to tap, unfortunately. And right into the denial. If he has it, there's no reason not to. Oh. Well, I, I mean, if he, if he had the denial, he'd have to play it before he, like, drew and stuff. But it looks like he's just going to get aggressive with some more criticals. He does the double strike again. It could be pretty big. Could help uh, help empty out the hand. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good that he drew. He drew that eight before playing the Beerus. It's another good, just example of these good players and their proper sequencing. Yep. It's a big part of the game that a lot of newer players don't always get. Absolutely. Eh. I think the way to beat this is to just like you go one attack at a time. Yep. Yep. It's interesting that he chose to not steal the. Uh, uh, he's just gonna pop the Bardock instead of stealing it with the. Mm -hmm. I think he's a he was a little worried about what happened last game, where since he discarded a Vegeta, there's a pretty good chance he has one in his hand. Mm -hmm. That's the kind of the thought new. process, yeah. Yeah. 
It's the board full of viruses right now. Okay. It looks like they're saying that Orlando is next weekend right away. So, yeah. Okay. I don't know if people are going to have time to... Uh, But, uh, he's going to get some good aggression here. It doesn't seem like he has another super combo in hand. Otherwise, he would have used it. Oh, man, he did have the Vegito, but he's choosing to combo with yeah. it. And he's going to rival Beerus, kill the Beerus. Mm. That's pretty smart. I imagine there was a lot of Beerus on Beerus violence uh, today, this weekend. <laughs> Many beers. No beers were harmed in the making of this region. <laughs> Except for most of them. <laughs> <laughs> for all the ones who got you know, blown up. Um, Haru Haru was a big thing, actually. Uh, a lot of people have it, had it in their side decks. We had it on stream a few times. Um, Haru Haru is very invaluable in the matchup. It's insane. It, it does so much work for you. You get to... Uh, you can do your arrival, pay two for the Beerus, Haru Haru, untap uh, that one extra. So basically your Beerus only costed one. Mm -hmm. It also mills too, so it helped a lot of the decks that were playing like KO Ken or uh, playing over rum cards. It helps a lot with that as well. Oh, and he's got a Beerus, so he's going to get a look, or uh, a Beerus. He's got a Broly, so it's going to get to look at his opponent's hand. You got to wonder if it's worth, like, if it's worth playing something like Denial on a card, just to deny your opponent the information. I mean, I would. It's just, it's so, he's going to chomp at the Trickster of the Beerus. Yep. Instead. Yep. And he gets to draw after. No, no, it's after. Unless, whose turn is it? That's his turn. So he gets to draw after he looks at his hand. Uh, well, here's the thing. I believe that since he had no longer has two energy up, the Broly effect doesn't oh, resolve. Big brain. So... Oh, that's pretty smart. That's, mm -hmm. a, that's a good way to play around it, I guess. So yep. it's not as broken as everyone thinks yeah. it is. It, it basically well, forces it, it forces your opponent to play it if they have it. They either play it or they lose it. Yep. But, uh, yeah, because the 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 check if your opponent has two energy up is in the effect text, yep. not the cost. <laughs> yeah a lot of people are talking about uh, stream quality and stuff I just want to say that uh, um, the tournament was very well run uh, it went really really smoothly and quickly it was a very enjoyable tournament to play in one of the most tight knit events I've ever attended uh, for sure yeah they're very, they're very good with starting their rounds on time everything is everyone's everyone's out of here mm -hmm. in time to go get some some dinner get a good night rest maybe test play a little bit mm -hmm. granted I don't know if anybody test played because being s being so tired <laughs> <laughs> Oof. but no uh, I think I think the stream quality is insane like the uh, I love I love the everything about like the little Dragon Balls for life the mm -hmm. names everything's just done so so amazingly it's, mm -hmm. that's awesome i love also the biggest thing is probably the camera views that we have of the hand oh yeah that helps a lot i love being able to uh to use them no oh, there's the flex right here yeah <laughs> absolutely <laughs> he's got two beers and then three beers in hand and he has oh the secret rare and the foo so he, he is can he has a lot of gas yeah. oh and there goes the secret oh, right there that's that's flexing when you uh, when you surge yeah. awaken and you uh, put you around. put the seeker under her. I don't, I don't even need, need it. Yeah, I'm good. I'm, I'm good. No yeah, Danny, now's a great time to get back into the game. This the new set coming out looks really cool. We just got a bunch of fun new mechanics. Definitely looking exciting. We get a world this year. That's also really awesome. Surge is uh, Surge is very very interesting as a game mechanic. Mm -hmm. um, I wasn't sure about it when I read up on it a little bit there, but uh, they did a good job of making it interesting in the fact that all right, you're going to become more powerful, but you only you got two effects and then you're done. Yeah, <laughs> and then you're <laughs> just done because the surge leaders really do fall off when they are out of cards underneath them, and if your deck is uh, running the right tempo, it can make them use it almost right away. Instantly. Mm -hmm. It's a little harder to represent when you're playing Surge versus Surge, but if you watch a, a game where it's Surge versus like a regular leader, it becomes very apparent that like once you Surge, you're on a clock. I mean, right now it's looking like it's going to be 
Oh, man, yeah, he's really going off. He smells blood. He yep. s- sees that he's tapped out. He smells the blood. Mm-hmm. I would I would consider surging plus 10K crit, to be honest. Because being tapped out, if you don't have super combos, you're not reaching my level. And it looks like he only has two in his hand. So I would probably go up to 10K and then also... Uh, and also, what's it called? Go, uh, go, maybe like another super combo or double strike chomper or something, mm-hmm. because that would force his awakening for sure. Because right now he can just take it and be like, "I'm chilling," mm-hmm. or he can just super combo twice and he's chilling because he does have two super combos. Mm-hmm. I think he's surge awakening. Okay, yep, he's awakening. Yep, yep. he's gonna need that extra five f- mm-hmm. uh, k on the attacks this turn. Extra five k plus, he'll probably use his surge ability. Yeah, most likely. Mm-hmm. Best DBS stream ever. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> So we'll have to see. He does have. We'll see if it's if it's worth taking away the triple strike or if he's going to just boost himself. But he's definitely going to have to use one of his surge abilities this turn. So there's the shoe. Draw the shoe is foil, so he's guaranteed to see them a lot more than the non-foil ones. Hmm. And he's just a little bit short. Gets rid of the Chompa. Okay, so he's, he's chosen not to use a surge ability yet. Keyword is yet. Oh, uh, yeah. Into Ooh, the Nimbus. into the Nimbus. That's, that's very good. It saves his hand. It saves his hand yep. a good amount. Yep. It saves his hand, and it actually possibly prevents him from having to use his surge. We'll have to see. Then you just swing triple strike 30k. Yep. It says no negates. You say uh, no combos. Maybe I'd combo super combo if I had one. <laughs> I probably would. Just to see if I could bait out one of his surges. Because mm-hmm. right now it's just who surges last. It's basically a game of uh, of rock, paper, scissors. The first yep. person to surge. First person to surge is always at a disadvantage for yeah. sure in the mirrors here. So right now, they're just, I think there's some past turns. There's nothing else he can do, really. Oh, he's got it. Yeah, yep. he's, he to do he's, it. he's surging, I'm guessing, for the power. Yeah, yeah he had to do it. Yeah. And he's super combo. No, he's searching for the, yeah, he's searching for the power. That gets him over. He's so good. that's 35, yeah. He's 30, but he's over comboing? 30. Hmm. He over comboed. F- or maybe he, I don't know. I have, to, I have no idea what he did there. 25, 35. Yeah, it definitely seems like he did, unless we missed something. Strange. Yeah. Did he tap the leader of the Beerus? He did. I think Colin Colin has a super combo in his discard pile. Did he play that and just not put it in his combo area, maybe? That would make sense. Maybe. Yeah, that could have been what happened. That's probably what happened here, mm-hmm. right? So after you, Joey's definitely not out of this yet. No, that's oh, the there's that's a good start. Yeah. That's the beauty with this matchup mm-hmm. is that there's never a clear winner until we're at the last life. Mm-hmm. Just gonna swing. It's gonna be back and forth. I think the the banner is definitely very useful in this matchup. Mm-hmm. It's definitely netted him a lot of advantage. Yeah, the the so. the battle cards they play are so large that you're not really effectively getting rid of them by mm-hmm. attacking ever. So you need removal. I'd say if he were to name an MVP of the deck, it'd probably be his better Shifu. <laughs> it definitely did help a lot here. And uh, especially in those other games, too. But that being said, Colin is definitely still in the driver's seat here. Oh, 100%. Yeah. He's got two Beerses on board. And, and if we remember, when we looked at his hand, it was like all gas. Yeah. Uh, he man- he actually has discarded a good amount of it since then. Mm. But it's if he starts playing his Bardock Apes now, it could actually be mm. just push through it. And I know he, I know he has that foo too. All right, so the leader was rested. He did keep it rested there. Uh, no, he's good. He on taps. He plays the energy. He's got pr- somewhat perfect energy at this point. And he has what seven energy, right? If he drops the foo now, he probably is 
It's going to win the yeah. turn after, probably not the turn up. Mm -hmm. but most it, likely he'll the turn he'll after. drain most of his resources this turn, and then yeah. probably the next turn will be the game shot. So I think if he can do it, he just does it. Doesn't even have to think about it. You just shotgun it, guaranteed. Mm. And I think that's what he's doing. That's yep. my guy. Let's yep. get it. Over realm. Yep, because this is probably going to force the other surge. I think he's going to have him two surges to zero. He can very easily just say no negates, no combos. Oh, and yeah. Then, and then either, is it worth it more to just negate the triple strike? Or just that way you the, the triple well, it's only strike? double strike. I think he has to give the 10k just because. Sense of being. Like, ooh, that's really good. Oh, he's, he's choosing to perma stun that one and untap. Two. Hmm. Mm. What could he be doing? I mean, it's probably just for protection. If he doesn't have any more blue sources, there's no real reason. Yeah, to but there's always the, the option. There's always the chance you top deck a sensu beam. That's so, true. So there's no. I don't think there's a harm in keeping the blue open. Because Let's I don't see, think he plays I'm anything that think, needs two yellow. Yeah, I don't think so either. Hmm. Unless he's does he have want to play something that maybe costs. Just frost deadly poison doesn't go down in. Uh, cost at all, right? Ever? It's no, it just untaps. Nope. So yeah. You still need a blue for that. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, so, so he took the thirty-five, and he could probably just double strike Champa here for game. He has it in hand. I know he does. Mm -hmm. So I think you just swing with the leader, double strike Champa, dump, and then if he doesn't, if he combos out, you just swing with the beer, swing with the other beers, and you probably win. That's yeah, definitely good, especially since you can't negate any attacks. Mm. He does have a fair amount of cards still, though. I mean, you could t hypothetically just swing with it. Like, I think either way, he could actually probably just win this turn. Uh, Joey's hand is not very good, mm -hmm. and he has no way to stop any attacks. And he didn't surge awaken. He didn't surge. He just took the, he just took the thirty-five for free, mm -hmm. which tells me he probably couldn't get over because that's the one you want to not take. Yeah, yeah. So him not taking it probably is a tell sign that his hand is really bad. And so he's gonna get he's plus ten k. He's gonna boost he's his gonna all in. Yeah, he's gonna yeah. all in. There's no point in uh, dawdling here. Yep. You just want to get just tap two energies. We gotta do it one at a time, of course. Double strike Champa. And either a Beerus or something from your hand. Probably something from your hand if you have it. There's that. that. The Goku. It's 45k. Yeah. Any little boys here we have. So this is a little bit more risky, but granted, on the swing back, he's probably not gonna have as much. Okay, he had three pieces. That's yeah, he has good. enough where oh, this is the right. This is definitely. He good. does have three energy up, so he could just do thirty k, ten k, ten k, ten k. So he's gonna surge, give plus ten, and he can probably just do ten k, another ten k, another ten k. And then he still has to deal with the two beeruses. Mm -hmm. So it's a top deck thing with the beerus. What did he just play to? I think he's just adding it together. So let's see, the attack is at 25, 35, 45, 55, 60. So he's swinging in at 60. Well, Carl's just going to clean this up here. A little bit of a rough start, but he pulled it out. Mm -hmm. Unless Joey can pull off a miracle. He has a, he has enough to get over this combo, I believe. But the two Beeruses are going to pose a very big threat. He's got a couple extra yeah, cards. And he's going to lose his whole hand to do it, yeah. too. That's the real problem. He's still got the Vegeta that nukes the board. Yeah, but he can't use it next turn. Because yeah. he'll still be under Fu. Four Topos in hand he had. He had four Topos in hand. That, that's a lot of Topos. It'd be a shame if someone dropped Fu. <laughs> <laughs> They won't want to count it out one last time, which is proper. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, Joey survives if the he gets a 5k combo piece off the Beerus uh, attack. Because Beerus is going to hit him for two. Mm -hmm. And then um, the other Be the Beerus is going to hit him for one. Then the other Beerus is going to hit him for one again. I think so he's good. 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 70. Yep, yep, he's good. 65. Yep. I think he might have over combo. I only counted 60 when I looked before. Well, but swing. Yeah. No negates any combos. No combos. Take your damage. Does he top deck a 5k or is this game? Uh, He top deck a 5k. No, he top no. deck an nope. energy. Uh, Beerus. Uh, Wait. No, what? he got the foo, I think. Huh? What card is that? I'm pretty sure it was a 10k combo. It was a 10k combo, so why didn't he combo it? I don't know. I think he just figured the game was over at that point. I don't think there's anything in top there that just yeah, doesn't fair. get killed next, next turn. Yeah. 
Foo Foo is yeah. a beast. That was definitely intense. Um, mm -hmm. We'll be right back. We're going to interview Colin to get his, uh, get his feel on what he's thinking right now going into the finals and how he fared in this matchup just now. So we'll be right back in a couple minutes, right? Hey, guys. Welcome back. I'm here with Colin, uh, the winner of this uh, top, that top four uh, match you guys just watched. Uh, how are you feeling throughout that game? Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, yeah. Game two was definitely rough, but uh, I feel like the other two games I had were pretty much – Locked up in my controls. Yeah. You so. didn't feel like anything was out of hand at any point in time? No. Because you didn't open the Bardock, so you couldn't put that with too much uh, aggression in game three? Yeah. So it was a little bit rough. That was uh, the only thing that I was a little bit worried about. Mm. Um, but I knew it wouldn't be too much of a problem. Um, That's fair. I could, because I had the ape as well, I could just draw two. Mm. And over the course of the game, I was just able to do Plus that three. twice and uh, got a little bit of advantage on him. He decided to play the game very slow in game three, mm -hmm. which I don't think was uh, the correct choice. He just kind of let it be draw go for yeah, a while. And then your Fu Shroud and Mystery just yeah, nuked well, him. My deck has a much better I auto win button than his does. For sure. While his is uh, a little bit more aggressive mm -hmm. with the Beerus. That he also plays the Fu, though. Yeah, but uh, I have access to um, the Cold Bloodlust. For yeah, the Frost Deadly Poisons. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Those cards uh, are definitely... The wing con, I suppose. Yeah, exactly. Um, so we can't really ever just do it yeah, on six. Yeah, for sure. How, uh, well, we'll see um, how this match goes. Hopefully you do, you do well. Um, and no, no hate to Robbie, obviously, but yeah, you know, I'm, 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 I'm non-biased. I promise. Uh, <laughs> good luck in your final match, man. It's about to get started. So hopefully uh, you can pull out a win. All right. Thank you. We'll be back.